Hello, Jonathan Howell here. I'm posting this video in response to Make Magazine's video, The Evasive Beeping Thing by Kip K. I am a subscriber to Make Magazine and a fan of Kip K's. However, when I went online to look at the schematic for the evasive beeping thing, I and several others could not get it to work. So I will be posting the schematic and information on 555 timers, resistor codes, capacitor codes, and tutorial information for 555 timers on the left. All right, so now we have a working schematic for the evasive beeping thing. We have, the, we have it powered by a nine volt battery and have a switch and a LED connected for convenience. The LED is used to tell when power is supplied to, to the uh, circuit. All right, so now we have one 555 timer here, which controls through the transistor the power for the second 555 timer. This will, this will uh, the second 555 timer will uh, create the tone that you're going to hear out of the speaker. The uh, first 555 timer through R1 and R2 will control the pause and the duration of the tone. The greater the resistance on R1 and R2, the longer it will take to, to charge up the capacitor here. If you uh, increase the capacitor with the same resistors, it will also increase the, uh, the, the pause and the tone time for the speaker over here. All right, down here you can see the different re different resistors that I've used throughout the schematic, and um, the key to this really is the transistor. I think that's about it. All right, here you'll see my evasive beeping thing prototype. I'm sorry that uh, uh, my camera doesn't get very good quality, uh, but you should be able to tell what I'm uh, pointing at. First thing we'll do is we'll turn it on. This is a magnet right there. Here you hear the tone because the capacitor is charged. This resistor right here is resistor 1, resistor 2, and then this one over here is resistor 5. Resistor 5 controls the volume. Alright, so here you can see as I showed you in the schematic that when you change resistor 1 it creates a longer pause. Now I just increase the resistance for uh, resistor 1 and it uh, increased the pause time. All right. So now we'll increase the uh, the resistance for resistor two, and it will increase the beeping, uh, the time that the, that the tone lasts. See, I have here have it here for several seconds at a time. Here, beep right there. I turned it back down. So there we have uh, several seconds for the tone. If you wanted this uh, R1 with a 100K will give you about three minutes the way I have it set up right here.